Let's now look and see how epithelium is classified or named. Well, the first thing to do when you look at an epithelium is decide how many cell layers make up the epithelium. If there's only one cell layer, as you see in these diagrams, we call the epithelium a simple epithelium. And the second thing we do is we look at the shape of the cells. If the cells are a lot wider than they are in height, or they're flattened, we call it a squamous epithelium, a simple squamous epithelium. If the height, the width, and the depth of the cell is about the same, we call it a simple cuboidal epithelium. And if the height is far greater than both the width and the depth, then we call it a simple columnar epithelium. Sometimes the epithelial cells or the epithelial layers may have many more cells, not just the one cell. In that case, we call the epithelium stratified. And again, we further extend that classification depending on the shape of the surface cells. They could be squamous at the surface, so we call it a squamous non-keratinized epithelium or a stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium. The surface cells may be cuboidal, so we call it a stratified cuboidal epithelium. Or, as we see in skin, the surface cells may be keratinized, so we call it a stratified keratinized epithelium. Rarely, we may find an epithelial surface that is stratified and the surface cells are columnar. In that case, it's called a stratified columnar epithelium. There are a few unusual epithelia, such as the one shown here. If you look at the pseudo-stratified epithelium in this diagram, the nuclei of the epithelium appear to be at different levels or different heights, and it gives you the impression that that epithelium is stratified. But in actual fact, if you look at sections through this epithelium using an electron microscope, you'll see that all the cells sit on the basement membrane. So although it appears to be stratified, it isn't. It's simple. So we call this a pseudo-stratified epithelium. And sometimes on the surface of these cells, there are special lysations that I'll talk about later on. There could be cilia or microvilli. Sometimes we more, might call this a pseudo-stratified ciliated epithelium. The other two diagrams show a section through or representation of the epithelium in the bladder or parts of the urinary passages. We call this a transitional epithelium because when the bladder is relaxed or emptied, the cells adopt a rather stratified cuboidal appearance. But when the bladder distends and fills with urine, then the surface cells tend, tend to flatten out. In other words, the epithelium goes through a transition from one appearance to another, depending on the state of the bladder. Hence the name transitional epithelium. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.